Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. My name's Hannah B and on today's video I will be telling you how I got really long healthy hair. But before that, if you do like this video, don't forget to give me a massive thumbs up, comment down below and also subscribe to my channel. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. Okay, so the reason why I'm doing this video is because over the years I've had quite a few people say to me, Hannah, how did you get really long hair? But I have put a lot of work into my hair and it's not me just one day waking up and it being long, basically. But yeah, I've got quite a few points to go through and the first one I would say is you need to stop using your heat products every day. So stop using hair straighteners every day, stop using your hair dryer every day, every time you wash your hair you don't need to dry your hair stop doing that I basically never ever use straighteners I can completely appreciate that not everyone has dead straight hair but in the long run your hair will be in so much better condition if you stop using so much heat on your hair every single day and don't get me wrong like in high school I had layered hair and I had to straighten my hair every single day because otherwise it would flick but eventually I thought this is just stupid I'm just gonna grow out my hair to all one length which I did and now it's all one length and now I don't have to straighten it every day and things like that. I barely straighten it ever. I don't think I've got down my hair straighteners in the last six months. And the other thing is obviously drying your hair. Try and not dry your hair with a hairdryer all the time. I didn't own a hairdryer for like two years. I think I only bought one at the beginning of last year and I think I've used it I could probably say less than five times that is definitely my number one tip okay so tip number two if you do have to use some kind of heat on your hair please 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 use heat defense spray it's really really good because obviously it will put the moisture back into your hair and it will protect it against the heat obviously it doesn't protect it 100% but rather protect it a little bit rather than nothing at all tip number three I see a lot of girls going out and even girls I know when I was on my beauty course they used to back comb their hair every single day don't back comb your hair it is so bad for your hair because your hair wants to lie flat and you're just back combing it and making it frizzy and you're damaging it every single time I appreciate that obviously if you back comb it once every six months that's not going to affect it but the, this is for the girls that back home their hair every single day you need to stop if you need to have big voluminous hair try and use dry shampoo and then hair spraying it underneath because that's a lot healthier for your hair in the long run than if you keep back combing it tip number four use coconut oil twice a week so basically I actually did this in one of my first videos I've ever made on this channel with my sister and I said to put coconut oil on the ends of your hair or depending on how bad condition your hair is you can put it all over your hair and leave it overnight and then wash it the next morning but when you wash it out make sure that you wash your hair twice shampoo it twice and do not condition your hair because you've obviously really heavily conditioned your hair overnight you don't want to make your hair like really heavy and like put extra ingredients into your hair that you don't need basically. I love coconut oil, I think it is the best for your hair. I think this is the one ingredient that has, ma that has made a difference to my hair and I barely use coconut oil anymore but when, when I wanted to grow my hair really long that is the one thing that I would use the most and I used it twice a week overnight and then I just wash my hair in the morning but I absolutely love it. This is from Tesco's so you can get them in any supermarket. I think this one cost about £6. You can do so much with it as well. You can eat it, you can take your makeup off with it, you can exfoliate with it and stuff like that. This one is an organic extra virgin 100% raw so you know that it's going to be good for you because it's all natural and organic and everything like that. So yeah definitely go and invest in some of these and stop paying hundreds of pounds for stupid hair masks that just don't work basically. Tip number five is um, when you wash your hair, shampoo your hair first obviously and then condition your hair but don't condition the whole of your head, only condition the tips because basically the conditioner is to obviously condition your hair but the top of your hair is the newest part of your hair and it's going to have your natural oils and you want your natural oils to help your hair as much as possible so basically you just want to condition this bit because 
it depends how long your hair is like mine I would say it's like two to three years old my hair obviously it's taken that long to grow and the bottom of your hair isn't going to get as much oil as the top of your hair naturally so you need to condition just the tips of your hair tip number six is don't condition your hair every day I know a lot of girls are like oh I need to condition it every day because it's good for your hair blah 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 no do not do it try and do it once a week and then if you add that in with the coconut oil so that's basically three times a week but actual conditioner you only really need to use it once a week I would say you don't want to add extra oils into your hair that you don't really need basically unless your hair is really really dry tip number seven is let your hair get greasy and oily do not overwash your hair I went through a stage where I would wash my hair every single day and it was getting worse and worse and worse so my hair was getting oilier and oilier and oilier and it's so bad because I thought oh no I need to keep washing it it's obviously dirty no stop it I wash my hair now every other day and also washing your hair every day can strip the natural oils from your hair and also over time it can strip the natural colour from your hair so you that's basically you don't want to do that okay, tip number eight is do not bleach your hair bleaching your hair is the worst thing you could possibly do to your hair you are stripping everything good out of your hair everything possibly that, that is good like the color the condition of it the moisture everything stop bleaching your hair tip number nine if you have to dye your hair don't bleach it basically use dyes that don't have ammonia in it so it hasn't got a lot of chemicals in it basically try and respect your hair a bit more because I dye my hair but I don't dye it that often. I knew girls in school who would dye their hair like once a week and things like that and they would bleach their hair and if their roots came through they would dye it again and dye it again. I don't do that. Really try and think about what you're doing because in the long run your hair will hate you for it. <laughs> my last tip is try and use very simple shampoos so try and use shampoos that don't have a lot of chemicals in it. I honestly think in the long run that's going to help your hair if you can and I had to be fair I haven't used these but you can use organic or natural shampoos which are gonna do your hair a lot of good and put moisture into your hair and even things like what hairspray you use like I use the Elnet and I think it's really good because you can literally just brush it out and your hair is fine after it doesn't damage your hair in any way so I definitely think that's one to go for so that was just my video on how I got really long hair it really didn't take as long as people think it depends how short because my hair was sort of this length when I left school and it's grown all of this and I've always wanted really really long hair and then in school it never used to grow it was like really frustrating because I thought why have all these girls got really long hair and then I thought I need to put in a bit more effort and I think that's the thing people don't put in enough effort with their hair so then they just expect results after two minutes that's not gonna happen it does take time but you really have to look after your hair look after your hair like you look after your skin because you've only got one set of hair <laughs> but yeah if you did like this video don't forget to give me a massive thumbs up comment down below and also subscribe to my channel I'll see you next time guys bye